All right, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be installing some parts on the LST here. We've got a whole bag of goodies. So like I said before, I've been trying to get into wearing the gloves. So let's throw some gloves on. This original body is not in too bad a shape either. Aside from this one crack on the hood, it's in uh, pretty decent shape. So there's the truck. It's also in very good shape as well. What I think I'm going to do first is install the uh, these ball ends onto the uh, onto these guys here. There we go. That's all built. I'm going to do the other three. Okay, I. Installed all the ball joints onto the links. So now the next step, I believe, is to install the actual sway bar. Oh, so I'm not too sure which one I'm going to go with. There's two different thicknesses of the steel here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe going with the thinner one. Just kind of hooks into into that slot there. Now I'm going to install these onto the shocks. Okay, there's the shocks. Get rid of the spring. Little trick here, if you have a hard time getting shock caps off, you can put your screwdriver through the end of it and give it a turn. You can pretty much push the whole thing right at the top like that. There's the old shaft. Fuck that shaft up. Little tip, you could put some electrical tape around the end of this so you don't ruin the shock shafts. 
This is a little tip I saw in an old RC magazine. Quick little safety meeting here. Titanium nitrite. Tainai shock shafts. Seal there. Just like that. Okay, I got both the shocks done. I'm gonna put them back on the truck now. All right, now I need to install the back ones. Just gonna install one more thing before I pack it in. And that's the air filter. All right, so that was just my quick install video. You can see now I have the aluminum shock caps on and I have the gold titanium nitrite shafts. I also put 35 weight fluid in the shocks. They feel very smooth. And uh, I also installed this air filter. Uh, I didn't get the chance to install the spin start back plate. I don't have the hardware for it, so I'll do it next time. Thanks for tuning in to RC Life. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.